Hey everyone, and welcome to a long overdue coffee break. I want to say sorry for uh, not uh, doing these recently. I've been all over the place. I've been through so many countries and four different continents, and there's just more coming up. So these are going to be very sporadic, and in between, there's an international house move going to happen uh, in the next couple of weeks, so or month. Um, so a lot's been going on. So I'm going to try and upload a, a few more of these uh, as I can. In, probably in random spots, but uh, forgive me, uh, bear with me, thanks for the new subscribers, thanks for the old subscribers, and uh, just keep being awesome. And today we're going to have a quick look at a set that I get every year, um, that is the LEGO Advent Star Wars calendar. Uh, Star Wars and Christmas, as I've explained before, is it's a big thing for me. But uh, So I get these sets every year, this is the only LEGO set I've gotten this year, and just uh, normally really enjoy it, really like the crossover between Christmas and Star Wars because uh, it's a big thing for when I was a kid. I think that can be said for a lot of us. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. Instead of going day by day, I'm going to go from my least favorite to my most favorite because uh, you're going to get a lot of day by day stuff over the next month. Um, so just going to run through you know, what I think is not so good and what I think is really good. So I'm going to start off with this thing, the Desert Skiff. And I think it was kind of the end of the budget, end of the, we've got a few pieces left in this set and we need to come up with something. And we came up with this, it's a desert skiff. Huzzah, it's got even a little plank to walk. So, um, whatever, whatever I say, I say whatever to that. I uh, don't like it. Uh, next up is, is this one for me. Uh, this is a droid from the prequels and uh maybe just because i don't really like the character i don't really know um it's got an articulated head which is pretty cool head articulates uh don't really care don't really care oh, one second i'm gonna adjust this line a little bit so i don't put my hand in front of it all the time uh next up did a uh, jabba's palace yay why gray why gray i don't understand why gray but they used gray. I, I think they did okay with this. I just, eh, whatever. I think maybe with tan they would have convinced me to put it a little higher on the list. So, I don't know. It's going to be taken apart for me. Uh, next one up, um, Obi-Wan's Starfighter. Uh, the cockpit is really cool. I like the cockpit. But the chunk of this for such a sleek ship, I don't think it works too well. Um, so that's it, you know, not really fast. This one, uh, the Imperial landing ship. I don't really, don't really know about this. It, it seems really long um, in the middle bit. So maybe I'm just thinking the proportions are different in my head. I don't know, but I just feel like the proportions are off on this. So that's why it's not very high on the list. I do like the ship in general, like in, in, the, in the movie. Um, it is articulated and stuff. You can go like that. It can land like a spawn. Okay. Battle droid. Next up on the list, battle droid. Uh, I don't I don't actually mind battle droids. I think they're okay. They're stupid and goofy, and, and I think that's their purpose. Um, but we get one, I think, in every set. So give us some weird colors. I know it's easy to throw these in, and it is really cheap on their budget and that sort of stuff because they've got, they're making a bunch anyways for different sets. Um, but it would be cool to get one in like, you know, red or green or something Christmassy or white to make it a snowman droid. I don't know. Um, so he's going to go over there. I don't mind getting him. This actually is always actually kind of cool. Uh, don't really care for the, ta the hover tanks anyways, but I think they did a good job representing a little one. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So yeah. Uh, again, from the prequels, it's a cool ship. I think they did a great job with this actually. You know, just uh, the big, the big cruiser from the prequels. Um, clones would hang out and this and that sort of stuff. You can move these around so you can do big turns in space. <laughs> handbrake turn, space handbrake turn, referenced from Spaceballs because they do that. Um, so I think they did a great job with this. It's a very clean set. Um, so or build. Next up is a Bespin guard, I believe with two pistols, so he's a badass. And I've never gotten one of these. I don't know if this is something that's hard to get, 
I don't really care for it though. It's not really a figure where I've gone, yeah, I need a Vespin guard in my collection. So that's why it's not very high on my list. I don't really, I don't know. It's just a kind of a meh, meh, meh. I don't know, it's a bit of a meh figure. Maybe maybe it's just because it's really hard to get, so they gave people an easier way to get it. Um, for collectors, an easier way to get it. But uh, I don't really care. I think I would have much preferred uh, some sort of trooper or rebel or um, snowman or something else in, in in place of this. So it's a bit of a meh thing for me. I do like the fact it comes with two pistols, though. It makes me think, think he's a badass. He's already, he's already killed the druid. Good on you. Uh, this is cool. I like this. It's a cool little snow turret, hoth snow turret. Um, great little build. They did a good job with that. It's fun. Would have been better to have a way to interact with minifigures. I like it when they do that, when they do the mini build and they interact with figures and it's a snow theme or it's a winter theme. Uh, I think it works better for me as this whole Christmas thing. But um, yeah, as it's 30 degrees outside here, geez, this doesn't feel like Christmas. Because um, it's not Christmas. There you go. Rebel, Hoth, Trooper. Uh, gotten these before in these sets. Uh, I do like it. Do you like the helmet? It's cool to cool to get. Um, very wintry. You know, you stand next to this thing and look very wintry. So there you go. Next up is a little build for a tie interceptor. I think they did a great job with this. Um, I think this is the first tie interceptor we've gotten in the calendar. Could be wrong. Um, love the printed printed piece on the front there so it could be very useful for for builders out there to get that piece uh, not a very expensive set so yeah I think they did a good job with this this is pretty cool a um, little chunky but yeah good job nice work nice work Lego people uh, next up for me standard stormtrooper you can never have enough of these they are the ultimate troop builders they are the troop builder of troop builders uh, this is I think is a newer design and maybe this is a Rogue One design, I don't know. Um, but yeah, standard clone head, Ugh, whatever. I miss the old heads with the black and the, the face cut out through because I don't like seeing the skin tone underneath the helmets. I don't get that, but here you go. Here's that. This one's really cool, I like this. I actually have this figure from a different set, but it's cool to get this Luke as ultimate Jedi Luke. Um, one black hand, one beige hand, so one fake hand, one real hand. Um, I have an older version of this, so it's cool to get an updated version. I think it's a really cool minifigure. And, uh, yeah, who doesn't like Luke? I'm sure there's lots of people that don't like Luke. I like Luke, though. He's cool. Da -da, this is cool, though. This is a Hoth gun turret. And minifigure can use it. You can put a minifigure on the back here. And in on the box, it's shooting... Uh, snowballs and so you can get a, a little white stud and put it on there so I really like that um, I like it when they do this uh, snowball theme snowball fight sorry with the guns and stuff like that they did it a couple years back or, two, or three years back they did they had a whole bunch of stuff like that and they really leaned into it and I thought it was absolutely fantastic so they seem to have shied away from that so maybe it wasn't popular but I really liked it I thought it was the best this one was actually really cool at first I was a bit meh not another one because um, we've gotten a Django slave, Django slave one and a Boba slave one before it builds, and they were the same build. So this is a different build for the slave one, Boba slave one. And once I built it, I was actually, oh, I really like this. I think they did a really good job. It works better. The other ones work better, kind of like a flying pose. This one seems to work really good, just as a as a as a docked pose. So you could do a, a little diorama with this thing. I think it's really cool. I think they did a really good job with this. I'm quite surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it when I, when I first saw what it was. Um, just because we've had it a couple times before. But yeah, different build. Really good job. Uh, there you go. Blockade Runner. Um, I don't know if we've gotten one of these before in the calendars. I can't remember. But I think they did a great job with this. Really, not a lot of parts. But they really got the, the key elements into that so because they got the front they got the back there's also a middle hey you can point out stuff so i think they did a really good job i like it so uh put that on a little stand get it, get it flying up uh, next up snow trooper and i think every advent calendar should come with some sort of snow trooper because it's it's a christmas 
that and snowy white Christmas. Um, and this is the new one. So it's got the new kind of helmet piece and it's got the backpack and snow troopers are my favorite troopers anyway. So that's why it's, that's the only reason why it's so high on the list. This is just a standard snow trooper. There's nothing special about it, but clone head. Yay. Um, there's nothing special about it, but uh, they're just my favorite troopers. So of course they're going to be high on the list. So that's, that's, that's it for that. That's the only reason for that. Next one up for me is this guy. So Death Star Trooper or Death Star Soldier, Death Star, he works on a Death Star. Maybe he works in the kitchens. I don't think he does. He's got a microphone on, oh, maybe for orders. I don't know. Um, I haven't got one of these yet. So that's why he's high on the list. It's the only reason. It's, it's a figure I would want and it's a figure I don't have. So now I, or didn't have, now I have it and uh, I'm pretty stoked on it. I like this a lot. Um, good printing on these guys. Love the helmet. Good helmet. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna do the microphone. Order up. Next up, da da. Which I wish they had more of this. This is what I want to see more of. Big snowball fights. So this is kind of a, an imperial snowman, and he's got lots of ammunition there and a snowball gun and a red nose. I'm assuming this represents a carrot. I don't know. There is triangular orange pieces, but um, cool. Got the helmet in white. Done great. I like it. Um, I love I, lo I love having these in these sets. I want I want more of these sorts of things. Uh, next up is a sled of some sort. Um, and on the on the front of the box, it depicts this guy riding on the sled like so. It's got hockey sticks. It's got skates that you can put on any of the figures. Um, a black one, which I assume is a hockey puck, and it reminds me of there was a toy uh, in in when the like back in the day, and it was a it was a stormtrooper um, transport, and it kind of reminds me a bit of that, but obviously way smaller. Like it, you'd put the, the troopers in the side. Here they had like little pockets in the side, so it kind of the shape kind of reminds me a bit of that. But yeah, I think it's just something that they've just come up with. They wanted the sled, so there's usually some sort of sled. In all of these so yeah I like it leaning into it a bit of the, of the winter theme so happy with that <clears throat> so that's why it's there uh, da -da, protocol droid this is a cool protocol droid this is uh, I've only got C-3PO's as far as protocol droids I believe that's correct so getting a silver one not bad I think I would have preferred a more Christmassy one I know there's an old red one out there so maybe a green one Maybe some mix and match parts. Maybe get red and green. I don't know. Um, but it's a very cool figure nonetheless. That's why it's here at the number three spot on the list. So he's cool. I like it. Very shiny. Uh, plastic feels really different. I think it's just the metallic thing. Number two is a gonk droid. Because I love gonk droids. And I love these little bills that make gonk droids. And that's it. It's a cool little funny little droid. And I think I adore him. And he's great. And I wish there was more gonk droids. I wish there was a whole series of gonk droids. That's it. UCS gonk droid. Give us that Lego. That'd be great. So cool little. Not my feet. We had a great blue one the other day. And of course, there you go. It's a tiny Christmas tree. Oh, and there's this thing too. Number one is of course the the whole thing behind this set is a completely blown out Wookiee. There you go. Um, comes with a tiny Christmas tree. So the, this is this is the most Christmassy thing in here. It's it's a it's a, it's a white Wookiee. I don't know if it's meant to be Chewbacca. It's definitely the Chewbacca mold with a Christmas themed bandolier and a snowball fi firing bowcaster. Um, so yeah, this is this is rad. This is awesome. That's this is the big part of the the whole collecting part for me. Is uh the 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 ultimate snowy figures. Um. So all in all, the set was, you know, 50-50. 50% uh, 50, 50 of it I really liked and I'm happy I got. The other 50% might be used for parts or just display sort of stuff. And uh, no Episode 7 stuff, which is weird. Maybe it's just, maybe it was a bit of a weird time. I'm not sure because, it, like, last year we didn't really know Episode 7 because it hadn't really come out yet by the time these sets had come out. And then this year we're going into Rogue One, which is back to you know, the, the first three three movies, so, or 
episode four um era so i'm not really maybe that's why they haven't got anything episode seven it would have been cool to see uh something episode seven you know uh one of the characters or something that would have been nice maybe next year i don't know um maybe with episode eight we'll get some episode episode eight coming out we'll get some episode seven stuff in the set but uh really do enjoy this series i do like the wookie i think it was a very original take i i didn't think of it when you say uh you know what christmasy stuff would you like to see um but i think it's a really good job and uh yeah, I think that's about it. I hope everyone has a great, um, this is November, so, you know, great November, then a great December, then a great Christmas, or whatever you celebrate. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. It's just something a little bit different, and uh, I'll talk to you guys um, uh, somewhat soonish. So, uh, talk to you later. Bye!